Now, obviously, based on the vlog that went up yesterday, you guys are still having a chat about and voting on whether this guy should be kept or killed. I don't know yet. I, I personally want him to stay. I at least want to keep his face. But he has one purpose to serve at least, and that is today he's going to wear the armor because it's about freaking time that I put this stuff together. It has been four months since I started the, the whole, I'm going to print, 3D print an entire chainmail suit, vest, shirt thing. And, uh, and today's the day that I fulfill that because after months and months of printing, breaking and repairing my 3D printer and tearing my hands apart, to create the individual chain sheets, today is the day I stitch them all together and cut it all up to hopefully actually work. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. This is gonna be a very time consuming process. It's gonna take me the whole day to just stitch these things together, let alone, I mean, I have to figure out some sort of, some, some sort of pattern to follow to make an actual outfit thing out of. So anyways, I'm gonna listen to an audiobook. This is one you guys recommended. It's called Graceling or the Graceling series. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I'll check it out. It sounds cool. I've listened to the, the, the intro thing and it sounds epic. And I'm going to do the time lapse a bit differently this time. Normally I do the time lapse with this thing, which seems a little, I don't know, flimsy. I feel like I need a new filming setup for time lapses because a webcam isn't going to cut it in the long term. But anyways, I'm going to try and use my camera on the crane with the, uh, the epic zoomy lens and see if I can get that looking good. So, let's jump into it. Let's just, let's just jump into it. So I'm five minutes in and I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, I need you to grab the, grab the shoulders and I'm just, I'm gonna drop down. So you pinch the shoulders and I'm just, All right. Ah! Ah, it's a ribbon. Ah! Oh, thank God. Hard work to do by itself. Thanks, PJ. <laughs> Such a weird job. <laughs> didn't get my arms through, but that's because I didn't put my arms up. And I'm just gonna hope it'll work. I hope it'll work. It'll be fine. And then this is the arm. Hang on. All right, ready? That's that's the arm. Look, it's an art channel, not a textiles channel. Okay? I've never done this before. Can you tell? Jeez. having my lunch break, I've put one big sheet together and I'm working on another. With it all tied together, this is a 3x3 three three, so it's just 9 sheets, it does feel like really fluid. There are some places where it sort of catches a bit and you just sort of need a reshuffle and it, and it gets all bendy again. The thing that I'm really enjoying is that it sounds like chainmail. Well, plastic chainmail. I don't know, I'm just really enjoying it. And I think tying them together with string actually makes it a little bit more flexible, which is good. So, should be quite wearable with any luck. It's coming along. Paul began to speak then of a Western village that had met a Nandaran raiding party with a pair of catapults, given to them by a Western lord who was friend to the council. How am I supposed to take this off? Though? This doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh, that'll do. He's armless, really. Sorry, you knew that was coming. Let's see how progress is coming along. Hey, look at that! That seems sort of perfect so far. This has to stitch together here. And obviously, there needs to be more holes for sleeves. But look at that! We've got a chain shirt! I mean, this looks a bit like a, you know, something you get from a sex shop, but 
<laughs> Making progress. I feel like the end result of this video is gonna be a weirdly, like, BDSM shirt. <clears throat> For not a week after the king had named the boy his heir, the king and queen died of a sudden sickness. And their two closest advisors fell into despair and threw themselves into the water. Oh my God. Turns out doing the same monotonous thing all day will really take it out of you. <laughs> now, obviously, as usual, I can't show you the end result because that would be giving away too much and you're gonna have to wait for a couple of weeks for the final video to come out, but it will come out as a collab because my brother and I are gonna put the swords and armor to the test. So hold on to your horses and wait till that comes out. That'll be really fun. Uh, we've already discussed some things we could do and I think, I think you guys will enjoy the result. Question of the day comes from NYNYYT who says, will you paint the sword? I mean, the 3D printed sword? No, because I want it to look 3D printed. The armor, however, the, the, the chain mail, uh, I might, uh, before I record the end shots, spray very lightly with like a metallic silver Nothing too aggressive, but just like a gentle light sheen so it looks less BDSM maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but just, I don't know. Just also to give the, the chain texture a bit more visibility when the more uh, uh, pokey outy bits stand out a bit more. Anyways, uh, I hope that answers your question. Otherwise, there are a few housekeeping issues to, to sort of mention and some news to share. The, the first is, obviously, uh, those of you who saw my tweet or noticed on the vlogs in the last couple of days, all of the comments were disabled thanks to all the chaos going on at YouTube at the moment. I had nothing to do with me, so that was fun. Um, I managed to get them all back, which was this really weird workaround thing where I had to select all and then select all, and then I had to not allow comments, but then not not allow comments because I didn't want to not allow comments and lose all the comments I had. But in starting to not allow comments and then hitting allow comments and saying, are you sure you want to allow comments? And then saying yes, then it brought all the comments back. Really dumb, really stupid workaround, not self-explanatory at all. Don't know why they're doing this stuff, but uh, you know, it's, it's a weird time on YouTube. <laughs> okay, now some serious news, some pretty big, some pretty big things are coming up on the horizon. So things are going to change on the vlog channel for the next couple of weeks. Um, the main channel will just go forward as normal. I'm still wrapping up a bunch of videos and there's some I've pre-recorded, but the project, Operation Vertigo, the big secret exciting thing I've been working on for actually like a half a year or something. Like it's sort of been building up and now to the point where I'm going to put a lot of time and effort into it and I won't be able to consistently vlog. First of all, because I'll be in and out a lot and I'll be out a lot and I can't show what I'm doing when I'm out a lot and when I'm in, I won't be do doing much enough to constitute a vlog. Um, and... I, I'm just going to be tired and exhausted and it's going to take up a lot of my concentration. So, uh, rather than worrying about any of that, I thank you all so much for uh, the, the vlog a couple of weeks back. I collected some questions, which will be really useful because I'm going to, over the next few weeks, just do a couple of Q&A videos where I release a single video addressing a question and I'll answer it in depth, depending on what I feel like answering at the time. Uh, and that'll sort of fill up a bit of time. Ho hopefully... Less than three weeks is my estimate. I know that's probably the longest I'll have been away from consistently vlogging on the channel, but trust me, it'll be worth it. It will be so worth it. So that's that's the news. That's the shift you'll be noticing in the next, next uh, few weeks on the vlog channel, but there's some very exciting stuff coming. So just get excited because I can't wait to reveal this stuff to you. I can't say anything else, but that's, yeah, that's, just get excited. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to uh, answering some of your questions and, most of all, revealing eventually, soon, finally, hopefully, Operation Vertigo. See you later.